Hi, Libra. <laughs> this is a second word, Libra. Let's get the second word going. All right. We're breaking out the beautiful creatures out these beach for my Libras. Ten of Wands is somebody that's having a difficult time getting through to you. I'm going to tell you why they're having... You know how they say closed mouths don't get fed? This person's mouth was closed. And this is why they're having a difficult time getting through to you. Kind of blaming it on you, too. Blaming you. They're blaming you. They're saying that it's your fault, the reason why they can't get through to you, but yet their mouth is closed. How that work, y'all? I don't know how that work, but let's continue. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they're still blaming you. The reason why you guys aren't having anything long term. So this is someone that doesn't like to take um, accountability. Yikes. Knight of Cups. You ain't paying them no mind. You have empathy for them. But they're not speaking. It's still, it's okay. I'm going to tell you how spirit is speaking to me. It's quiet right here. And it shouldn't be quiet because it's a motherfucking ten of wands. It should be noise everywhere. It's a ten of wands. It's a burden there. And it's the wands. Wands are all about action. Right? Action. You hear the noise? So, it's quiet. But you're not. There's people speaking to you. You have empathy for this person. You really do care for this person. But they're not speaking up. Don't know who it is. Could be a Sagittarius or a Virgo. You have Pisces there. But you have Pisces in your chart. They're really not, like, this person's really not speaking up. What do they want with my Libras? This is your second one, you guys. There's another one that, actually, there's going to be three that's out. But this is your second one. Okay, Spirit is saying that you need to um, incorporate, need to put uh, beats and, um, uh, what is that? Uh... They say cranberry, beets, and prunes in your diet. That need to be put. In, that needs to be put in your diet. What does this person want? Why are they holding back? It's like they're sweating and everything, but it, I'm not getting this person's energy. Social media spying. See online dating and reminiscing. Unexpected is third party. They see somebody. You know what? Okay, this is the energy I'm getting. This is going to be about someone that still feels like you belong to them when you don't. You do care for them, but you don't belong to them. Like, at all. Like, at all. They, and they see you... Okay, this fucking person is delusional. Because they still see you as theirs and they see you as somebody that's in a third party. Like you're cheating on them. I'm not joking. And this person's scaring me a bit because they are delusional. Three of Wands. Still waiting. It's like they're in the bushes somewhere, y'all. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you a story. I don't know if you most, most of you don't know this. If you haven't been with me from the very beginning. 
my first ex-husband, because I had two, <laughs> my first ex-husband used to sit and watch my every move. And I didn't even know that he was doing it until his mother said something to my sister that said something to me. She had to move out of the state because her son was doing stupid shit, um, following me and things like that. She moved because of, she didn't want her son to do something stupid and took her son with her. No, nope, not joking, not joking at all. That's how this feels to me. Like he would know when I was with, with Huey. He would know when I was with Huey. He would know when I took the kids to the doctor. These are his kids, by the, these were his kids. Yeah, three kids by him. Um, he would know like, it, he would know my every move. And he think thankfully that he went home and told his mother this because that's creepy as fuck. Creepy as fuck. See, still holding on. I told you. All right, where's the book? Hold on. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to get the book and read the four pentacles to you. Give me one second. Book right here. Book. I, I knew I wasn't tripping. That's the energy that I was getting with this person. Got the book. I'm going to go to the four of pentacles. I'm going to let you hear this for yourself. Okay. At one point, just like you, I was holding on to something way too tight. Now you have to learn to let go before it consumes you. Your energy have consumed this person. They've held on way too tight. A swamp princess, a swamp princess has found a rare frog swimming with a lagoon outside her kingdom. She has never in her life seen something so beautiful. This person has never in their life seen something like you before, Libra. Something so beautiful. And she knows and feels the absolute value of the frog. They know and feel your value, hence the Ten of Pentacles. And Ten of Pentacles is not all about money and the empathy that and the love that you share, that you have for this person. They don't want that to be depleted, that to be gone. They don't want that to be gone whatsoever. So, and she knows and feels the absolute value of the frog. She clutches with her bare arm. Greed has taken over and she knows very well that others will fight with her to have that this prize in their possession. See? And he, this person knows, right, in their possession. Each minute she has grown overly attached to this creature and she can't bear to let it go. That's this person. And they're fucking delusional. I'm not tripping here. So instead, this material possession will stay with her forever till death until the end of time. That's how this person is feeling. I'm not shitting with you, Libra. In a reading, this card represents being overly attached to material things or a person. You are becoming obsessed and this makes you insecure and selfish. You don't care about anyone's necessities but your own. You're hoarding material things and that are irrelevant and you are becoming stingy with money. You don't understand what's what what's losing, what losing is. They don't. This I was getting that energy. This person doesn't know what it feels like to not have you in their presence in their life because they're around you. And so they know that it's only a matter of time before someone scoops you up, brings you in, and they're not able to have you anymore. It's only a matter of time. And this person, I feel like they're going to fucking snap. You're dating now. It feels like to me that this person's going to snap. Storm warning. I just said it. Upheaval, obstacles, wrecking ball, drama. It feels like to me that this person's just going to snap. Break up. Yeah. Because it's like they don't even feel the breakup or they're delusional about the breakup. Whew. I'm clarifying the Ten of Wands with this deck heartbreak see they haven't faced it 
they haven't faced it that this that is over. Somebody's still crushing on you hard, like hard. And they're holding all of that in. Imagine that. And I told you it was very quiet there. Like this person is very quiet. And they, what do they say? Be careful of the quiet ones. Don't they say that? Because they the ones that snap. They're the ones that snap. Change. Surrender. This person now wants to surrender after the breakup. Snake. There was a snake in the relationship. There was a snake in the relationship. They're still holding... Oh my gosh. This is the only deck that I see this as this. You see the, the little dinosaur inside of this? No, you can't go out and play. You belong to me. I always Since I got this deck, I've always seen that as this. And that's crazy that this card came out. Empress. It's like they want to lock you up as if you're Rapunzel. Mm. Closing this out, please, so I can get to your third one. Libra. This person wants the opportunity work to work things out. They still desire you. They want you to make a decision and choose them. Give them an opportunity. Now they're sitting in their ego. So that's that's a little concerning to me. See, they they didn't want to let go. Ten of Swords. Yeah. They still see you as theirs. I'm not joking. Right now. Three more and I'm going to let you go. <sighs> You know this. They just said it to me. You know this because you, that's why you still show empathy towards this person. You want them to be happy and move on so you can move on and be happy with your life. They're not going to let you. Why would they let you? Why would they pull away from your energy? There, That's something that they don't want gone. Libra, you got to move away or something. Good luck with this.